On to now our last topic with respect to lists. Let's talk about iteration. Lists are what we call an iterable. Like strings, we can iterate through each element or item in the list one at a time and process that. And iterables uh, need a good way to look at each element within them, within their contents. I'm going to preview for you for loops. We will talk more about for loops later in the course, but I'm going to preview for loops for you because it's important to understand how we can look at each element in a list. And there are two ways to do it. So I'm going to go over here and we'll show you. And I've got a text file, which I've um, uh, created some Python code in. And up here in the top left, I've got my terminal and then just um, just a file browser to show you that my script resides here. So in my terminal, if I print working directory, I'm on a Mac. On Windows, it would be dir, D-I-R, to show your current directory. I'm also going to do ls on, on a Mac to show that my script resides within this directory. So if we run Python, my script, it will run this code that I have here. So I've defined a list, the same list we've been working with, and I'm going to show you each one of these two examples of iterating through a list, which are very useful. We'll comment out the second example for now. And we will work on the first example. So I commented that. I'll save the file with Command S, Control S on a Windows. So we will just execute this code right here. All the rest of the code will not execute because it's commented out with our, our hash, hashtags or pound signs. So let's run it. And we see that we output every single item in the list. Now let me walk you through this for loop. For every item, this can be whatever word you want it to be. It does not matter. For item in the list, in my list, that references my list. And then we have a colon and we indent four spaces or a tab. We indent underneath our for loop. This is a good preview for for loops. For every item in the list, print the item. And that accomplishes printing out each item in the list. We could call this, uh, let's do it for the sake of uh, showing you, we could call this bleh, like it, it really doesn't matter, bleh, um, as long as they match. We are just saying, this is how I want to reference each element is with this temporary or local variable. And then we can reference that variable here. Let's run that again. We're running the script, same exact output. So it doesn't matter what this variable is called. Item is a common way that you'll see it is with item. So I'm going to change that back to not uh, add confusion. Now let's comment that out and show you a second way of, of iterating through uh, a list. And we could, we could do a lot more than just print here. We could do whatever we, we want. Uh, with that. But print is an easy way to show you that it iterates through each item. So we could have more Python code indented here and, and do the and process that. So the second method I want to show you will also give the index position, which can be very useful. Sometimes we need to capture which index an element is at. So to do that, we can do another for loop. And remember, this for loop is commented out, so it's not going to be processed. We can say for index item, these two values, it doesn't matter what they are. We are just creating them temporarily, and then we will reference them locally here. So we could have this be called anything. Um, but then we say in enumerate, this is a keyword, and then within these parentheses, insert our my list, our list variable. 
then a colon. This is just how Python understands how to use for loops. We always have, need that colon. Then our tab or four spaces down here, and then we'll print both the index and the item. So let's run that. We'll save it. Let me clear my terminal here and then up arrow to run that script with python my script.py. That did not work because I have an extra indent here. That's a good example of a, an indentation error. So I need to delete that. And now let's verify we have the proper spacing. One, that's a tab, which is four spaces in my editor. There we go. Let's save and try again. There we go. So we now have each index position over here in the left column, and then our values in the right column. And that you will find is very handy. So this enumerate, um, this enumerate tool in Python can be very useful because it captures both the index and the item. So wanted to show you uh, an example of list iteration and and put that in your back pocket, and I'm certain we'll come back to it later on in the course.